Spanish director Pedro Almodovar has garnered critical acclaim and gained fans across the globe with his glossy, in-your-face style of filmmaking. His films cover everything from black comedies to psychological thrillers to melodrama. Oftentimes, Almodovar tackles themes like family, the Catholic Church, passion, and identity. Stylistically, he is known to use bright colors and his stories tend to be very meta. In this video, we're taking a look at the top 10 Pedro Almodovar movies of all time. Number 10, Julieta. Julieta is one of Almodovar's more low-key films, but it's still multifaceted and more than a little weird. It's a drama starring Emma Suarez and Adriana Ugarte as the titular character. Suarez plays the older Julieta, while Ugarte plays the younger. The film chronicles Julieta's life over the course of 30 years as she struggles to reconnect with her estranged daughter and her mental stability slowly starts to crumble. The movie is described by Almodovar as a very dry, tearless film. It explores dejection, guilt, and the depths of utter sadness. Frequent Almodovar collaborator Alberto Iglesias composed the score, which was nominated for a Goya Award. Adios. Number 9. Broken Embraces This movie is what you can call a wild ride. Broken Embraces stars Penelope Cruz as Magdalena Rivas, an aspiring actress and secretary to the millionaire Ernesto Martel. The movie is told via flashback by writer Matteo Blanco. The film serves as an homage to filmmaking and writing and contains multiple references to films like Belle de Jour and Fanny and Alexander. The film has a noir vibe to it and touches on themes like drug use, voyeurism, revenge, obsession, prostitution, and death. The movie itself is actually a film within a film. It is erotic, colorful, and full of twists and turns, all signature trademarks of Almodovar films. In fact, The New Yorker called Broken Embraces purist Almodovar. Pero la última sensación que se llevó de este mundo fue el sabor de tu boca. Number 8. Bad Education. Ahora empiezo a chillar. Yo quería Ignacio. Gael García Bernal stars in the drama Bad Education, which chronicles the story of two childhood friends and lovers who reunite and find themselves wrapped up in a murder mystery. The movie doesn't hold back and tackles plenty of sensitive topics such as drug use, sexual abuse, and homosexuality. Acá has venido. ¿Hacerme una entrevista? No. Bueno, sí. ¿En qué quedamos, guapo? Its frank description of sex earned it an NC-17 rating in the United States, though the explicit oral sex scene in the film ended up getting blurred out in some releases in order to get an R rating instead. Notably, the movie is very meta. It tells a story within a story, and this gives the film an incredibly layered and multifaceted plot. Number 7. Live Flesh In Live Flesh, Elena falls in love with policeman David after he rescues her from a violent altercation with a man named Victor. Victor ends up in jail, but not before he manages to shoot and paralyze David. While he's in jail, David and Elena get married. Upon release, Victor begins to worm his way back into Elena's life. This erotic drama is based on the novel of the same name by Ruth Rendell. The film stars Javier Bardem and Francesca Neri as David and Elena, and also has Penelope Cruz in a role as a prostitute named Isabel Plaza Caballero. This is Cruz's first appearance in an Almodovar film, and she will appear in many, many more. Victor, yo sé que todo esto tiene una explicación. ¿Mm? Deja la pistola. Number six, Pain and Glory. ¿Para qué has venido? 32 años me ha costado reconciliarme con esta película. This drama chronicles the life of Salvador Malo, an aging filmmaker. He looks back on his life during the 60s, the 80s, and all the way up to the present. Malo feels empty and regretful, and this is giving him a severe case of writer's block. The film tackles themes of identity, passion, and memory. 
The film is heavily inspired by Federico Fellini's film, Eight and a Half. Te hago una tortilla de patata de esa que te gustan a ti. Guapo. Yo no quiero ser cura. Almodovar gathered a ton of frequent collaborators for this movie, including Antonio Banderas, Penelope Cruz, Alberto Iglesias, and cinematographer Jose Luis Alcaine. Banderas' performance earned him the Best Actor Award at Cannes, while Iglesias won Best Soundtrack. Que vengas a comer al restaurante, que nos emborrachemos juntos. Hmm? Number five, women on the verge of a nervous breakdown. The movie follows Peppa, who is making plans to kill herself with a poisoned batch of gazpacho after her lover leaves her. Her suicide gets interrupted, and she proceeds to have a wild 48 hours as she runs into plenty of eccentric characters and accidentally doses people with sleeping pill infused gazpacho. Luego me das la dirección. Sí. This black comedy is the movie that really put Almodovar on the map, and to this day, it stands out as one of his best films. The film is so popular that it actually has a musical based on it. It swept at the Goya Awards, winning five awards, and it was nominated for the 1988 Academy Award for Best Foreign Language Film. Aceite, sal, vinagre, pan duro y agua. Number four, Volver. Ni que se la hubiera tragado la tierra. ¿Y tu hermana Brígida? Penelope Cruz stars in this comedy drama, and her performance actually led to her becoming the first ever Spanish actress to be nominated for Best Lead Actress at the Academy Awards. In true meta Almodovar fashion, the plot for this film is actually based on one of his earlier movies, The Flower of My Secret. In Volver, deceased matriarch Irene returns to her family in the form of a ghost. Irene is played by Carmen Maura in her first appearance in an Almodovar film since Woman on the Verge of a Nervous Breakdown. After a tragedy strikes the family, Irene materializes, while Raimunda attempts to protect her daughter. The film is a powerful mix of magical realism and melodrama that tackles themes of loneliness, sexual abuse, and death. Once again, Alberto Iglesias provides an excellent score, and the gorgeous cinematography is done by José Luis Alcaine. Number three, the skin I live in. My, no le harías eso a tu filho. Body horror, sexual assault, a man dressed like a tiger, murder, secret sex changes, all this and more can be found in The Skin I Live In, a psychological thriller about a woman, played by Elena Anaya, who has been imprisoned by Dr. Robert Ledgard, played by Antonio Banderas. As the movie progresses, the true reason why the woman has been imprisoned starts to reveal itself. The story explores both sexual and gender identity and explores what it means to survive. <laughs> Almodovar blends elements of melodrama, black comedy, horror, and farce in this film. Again, Iglesias handles the score and Alcaine handles the cinematography, and they are both at the top of their game. Number two, All About My Mother. Pero al revés, de Barcelona a Madrid. También venía huyendo. Like Volver, the plot of this film also originates from The Flower of My Secret. This time, the story is about an Argentine nurse, Manuela, who witnesses the death of her only son, Esteban. Following his death, she decides to seek out Esteban's father, a transgender woman named Lola, whom Manuela once had an affair with. Lola had no idea she had a son, and Esteban never knew about Lola either. And, surprise, Penelope Cruz is in this one, too, this time as an HIV-positive nun. Almodovar dedicated the film to all actresses who have played actresses, to all women who act, to men who act and become women, to all the people who want to be mothers, to my mother. The film is complex, like most of Almodovar's works, and tackles existentialism, faith, and sexuality. Es lo último que te pido. No puedes verle. Our number one pick is Talk to Her. Así, así. Ay, qué fresquito, eh? Qué cosa más rica. Talk to Her is an absolutely gorgeous film with a deeply poignant story. 
The film is about two men who form a friendship as they both take care of two women who have fallen into comas. The story is told primarily via flashback and details how everyone's lives became entwined with one another's. One of the women, Lydia, is a world-famous matador. The other, Alicia, is a dance student. The movie explores how devoted these men are to each woman and focuses on themes about love and communication. Soy incapaz hasta de ayudar a las enfermeras a que le den la vuelta en la cama. Talk to Her has a 92% rating on Rotten Tomatoes, with a consensus stating that it is a masterful and compassionate work. The film has landed on quite a few greatest movies of all time lists. It's been listed in Time Magazine's Countdown, Paul Schrader's personal canon of great films, Steven Schneider's 1001 Movies You Must See Before You Die, and was given a stellar 4 out of 4 rating from famous critic Leonard Maltin. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Me está siguiendo? Do you agree with our list? Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and be the first to receive new top 10 videos from Stream TV.